Good morning to you. Happy Saturday. Here we are at the end of a week and we survived the wind of yesterday. What a, what a day, what a windy day. And today we're back in Proverbs 25. Um, I'm looking at two verses um, that just are so, use such a beautiful picture or image of the value of words. Um, and, and I just think we can sit for a few moments today and imagine it's so beautifully described. Here we are in 25, top Proverbs 25, um, uh, verse 11 and 12. Uh, the earlier part of the chapter is about uh, how you behave towards a king. Well, I don't think any of us are actually um, in that sort of situation. <laughs> So read them, but um, maybe one could apply it to important people in your um, in your circle or important people that you know. Um, but when we're verse 11, verse 11 says, A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in a setting of silver. Now use your imagination and see a beautiful ornament, a beautiful jewel made to look like an apple, an apple set in gold, a, a, an apple made of gold rather, an apple made of gold in a setting of silver. Just see it in your mind's eye. What a beautiful thing that would be. A, an apple made of gold, shaped like that beautiful fruit that is so, so delicious and so refreshing to eat in a setting of silver. Uh, that's a word fitly spoken. You know, a lot of us, we say too much. And there are those people uh, amongst our, those we know who rarely speak, but when they speak, the word they speak is, is precious, is beautiful is valuable. A word fitly spoken. Don't be too quick to judge, too quick to speak words, but let your words be of value. If we speak too much, if we witter away, some people do, they just talk to fill the air. And this is true of our, our meetings sometimes, that we have folk in our, in our fellowship or in the fellowship you go to perhaps who never give time for something wonderful that's been said to be thought about before they speak their own thought, which is often off on another thought altogether than the one that has just been shared. When, Especially when we're in a meeting, I think it's true that the things that people do say are prompted by the Holy Spirit and they ought to be valued more than they are and there ought to be time I believe after every intervention by members of the fellowship every bit of sharing when we actually stop and think about what has been shared before we rush on to the next thing it's not easy to do it's not easy to do because we all feel that the thing that we have to share is very important and of course it is but we mustn't undervalue what God has prompted somebody else to say. And that's something to think about today. Think about how difficult it is to sit in a group of people and actually think about what has just been said and not fill that silence with some more words. Think about it. Let's, let's value, let's take those wonderful, special words that are spoken and ponder them before we rush on. Let's not lose them. And then the next verse is like a gold ring or an ornament of gold is a wise reprover to a listening ear. We don't think that being wisely spoken to by someone we often don't like that very much because 
it implies that we haven't got it quite right. But if with humility we can listen to what is said to us, um, it can be as precious as a gold ring or an ornament of gold. That just some useful advice, helpful advice, that just changes somebody's direction slightly can be of infinite value. So this is again talking about the words that we use and our attitude to the words that are spoken to us by somebody else. Perhaps somebody has said something to you and your instinct, instinct is to defend yourself. Instinctively to protest that they misunderstood what you have done or said. They, they've got it wrong, that you couldn't possibly have had that kind of an idea or motive. The key to communication is to listen to one another and not to jump to a conclusion before we speak. And how often we do that, how often we assume that somebody has spoken the way they have for a particular reason and we, we don't even <coughs> think about why they have behaved in the way that they have. We must be careful not to judge one another. We must be careful not to jump to conclusions. We must be careful to listen to one another and we must ca be careful to value words, especially when we are in a Christian context because very often the words that we're prompted to say to each other are prompted by the Holy Spirit. So words are very, very important. Don't rush into them. Whatever you do, don't rush into them. Well, I can talk, can't I? I've given you enough words over the last two years, haven't I? You know, it won't be long. It'll be two years since I started doing a thought for the day on the 23rd of March, 2020, the first day of our lockdown. And uh, it's been wonderful to share thoughts with you each day. And I hope the thoughts I've shared have led you to some thinking that has brought you closer to God. That's my only motive, is that you will come closer to God and to his word as we think together each day. God bless you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.